Hello everybody, welcome back to another part for the Plants vs Zombies walkthrough. And we don't normally start off from the main menu, but I just kind of want to explain what's been happening. In my last video I explained that I lost some footage, I think it was uh, level 5 part 1 to 5 part 6, which I'm currently at right now. And once again I do apologise for that, um, but I want to kind of show you a few things uh, that has recently changed from the last part you saw. Um, so at the main menu we have a watering can which says Zen Garden and basically this is a, a new thing that's approached to this game. Uh, basically you will have uh, a greenhouse with plants and basically you will have to water these plants in order to gain coins. Uh, so that's all you have to do, you might have more plants, uh, you can buy fertilizer when it needs, when the flower needs the fertilizer, you can buy other things for it as well. Uh, you can, you know, get other plants. I think you can get like marigolds and many, many plants, a variety of plants you can get. So basically, you can just gain coins from it. You can keep watering them, gain coins. When they're fully grown, you get a big coin, and then it stops from there. But um, that's basically it f for that. Anyway, I mean, this is all I've been doing: watering the plants and fertilizing it as well so you can fertilize this plant here it's fully grown you get more coins so that's basically it for that let's just do that quickly um, there we go uh, so you can go to the shop as well where you can buy different things for the garden um, so I'll be using these later so this is the uh, plants you can buy for the garden whatever and upgrades but this is for the um, the Zen's greenhouse thingy uh, Zen's garden so that will come into play later on in the game um, so if I go to the adventure I'll show you the plants that have came into the game also which you have missed out um, so I apologize that, uh, for that as well and um, you can see that I've started on the uh, roof level and uh, these are the plants that I've kind of in introduced um, like the footage that I did previously that wasn't there it got lost so that was a bit unfortunate but um, these are the plants anyway well we can start off with a plant pot which is used to put on the roof without these you can't plant plants because you need either a plant pot or a garden which contain compost um, then we've also got the cabbage pot which can vault over the other side of the roof because it's on an angle these plants won't affect the zombies on the other side because it will hit the um, the top and it will not go through and cause damage onto the zombies. Uh, we also got um, kernel pot, which is uh, like sweet corn, corn, whatever, and it will slow the zombies down. It will shoot butter at it as well. That what that's what makes the zombies slow down. Uh, we've got the coffee bean, which wakes up the um, the uh, mushrooms, but um, I don't think there's any point using it really. Well, there is if you want to wake up the zombies. Uh, sorry, wake up the mushrooms. You want to use them, but I don't really want to. Um, I think that's basically it for now. Those are the uh, four four uh, plants that I uh, talked about in the last video, which unfortunately I don't have. But I also got the garlic plant, uh, which w which was. Um, gained at the end of the video uh, so this diverts zombies into other lanes so I'm gonna try all of these well I'll need that anyway to start off with um, that that show the coffee bean uh, probably in the next one what well, could do it now so let's place that there uh, so when I choose the coffee bean it allows me to choose the mushrooms uh, so we'll go with this do that Gotta show you the garlic. So I'll show you the garlic in the next one. Um, so do do do. Probably go. I want to go for that. Um, yeah, I'll go for that for now. So let's go for it. And hopefully, <laughs> I do hope that this is going to be recorded properly. So basically, you just place the plants in these plant pots, and you can place more plant pots down, um, which is always a good idea. So it's basically lily pads for the swimming pool. Um, I also got an upgrade of these lawnmower thingies at the back. I don't know what they are, but um, they do the same job as the lawnmowers that you had on the lawn, 
the back garden. So they're very useful. <clears throat> we also been introduced to new zombies as well. There's zombies with ladders that can, you know, get over the um, uh, the walnuts or the tall nuts or anything. Oh, any plant that, that comes into interaction comes to interact with, I should say. And it can also use the ladder for defence as well. So it's kind of tough. So you would need something like um, I don't know. Uh, what's it called? Squash get rid of it or a potato mine which is more ideal um just want to put that there so i'm gonna whack all these sunflowers down now so yeah i was really gutted yesterday because i made about 40 minutes footage and that wasn't and it wasn't there and i was <laughs> god i was so frustrated and, and it felt like i let people down who i wanted to watch the f you know the footage that i've made and you're gonna miss things out but I'm going to do my very best to, uh, to try and prevent that from happening. I've already been doing my best to try and pre prevent it from happening, but it was just one of them times that perhaps decided not to record. But um, if you can see in the bottom right-hand corner, you can s I, I displayed the um, the frame rate. Um, so when it's in red, you won't see it in red. You should see it in yellow. But when I can see it in red, meaning that um, it's recording, so it should work. <laughs> um, Fingers crossed, anyway. Uh, right, so we're doing okay-ish, I guess. Um, there's also zombies with bundy, uh, bungee jump things. Um, so they can jump down on top of your plants and take them. Which makes it more difficult, obviously. <coughs> Alright, let's do this. So I'm going to keep that frame rate in the bottom right-hand corner like all the time now. So I know it's recording. Um, ooh, no, I can't do that. There we go. Um... So I'll show you these kernel pots as well. So they should throw corn at zombies and also butter lumps to slow them down. Well, completely stop them, stop them like that. Um, let's do this. Do that. I think I noticed that the audio's changed as well, the music, which is quite nice. Uh, let's do that. So also the zombies can destroy the plant pots, so it doesn't, it doesn't just walk past them, it actually destroys them, preventing you from planting plants. Um, put that there. So I've got to show you the coffee bean as well. Ah, we haven't got any uh, mushrooms, have we? Oh. oh, it doesn't matter, I'll just explain. So basically, you put down a mushroom and um, it's asleep. Then you place a coffee bean on top of it, and then over a few seconds it will awaken and it is usable. That's all it does. <laughs> uh, put that there. So I think for every game I'm going to do on the PC using fraps, I will display the, um, the, f the frames per second because it, le it allows me to know that it gives me an indication that it's recording if it's in red it's just safer that way <laughs> um, so I don't want to panic every time think to myself, has that recorded or not you know, it's just not worth thinking about and um, I'll just keep that in the bottom right hand corner uh, right I guess I can put some more of these in front. Oh, right, that's a new zombie. Didn't see him. So you can do the same thing, you can throw. It looks like coconuts on it or something. So, yeah. He's not going to stop us. <laughs> put another one there. Uh, put some more there. <coughs> So I think I've got to a point now where I'm not going to use any uh, pea shooters, repeaters, or three-headed pea shooters, or whatever, and uh, I'll just replace them with long range. Well, the pea shooters were long range, but I mean, using catapults instead <laughs> for the time being. Uh, 
So we've got one more wave to go and then we're done for this one. Uh, right. That there. I think we can stop putting the walnuts down. So in my last video I've also mentioned that I uploaded Batman Part 5, Batman Arkham City Part 5, and um, uh, last time I tried to render the project, it took me, well it didn't take me, but it estimated about 6 hours, so I thought, no, I'd rather not, <laughs> and um, instead I tried to lower the time down a bit, and it ended up estimating about 2 hours, which is much better, so that was good but the only problem is when uploading to YouTube it takes about 10 hours so yeah it, what I what I did was I uploaded overnight so by the morning it was done but you can go and check that out if you want to I will continue on with the walkthrough as soon as I get my TV which should be Friday I should get it Friday and I'll do a frit video on that day so there's the bungee zombies basically they can I think they can take plants and also they can drop down zombies um, Uh, oh, I can't do that, can I? I'll put that there. Um, there you go, sweet. I want them to go, and I. Um, let's do that. Okay. 2,600. Over 2,600 uh, sun now. Oh, I've got a plant. Let's go. Um, do that. <laughs> Get rid of that for you as well. There you go. <laughs> uh, do this. Oop. I can't do that, I keep forgetting to place the plant pots now. Oh damn it. Well let's see if I can do this. Do this. There we go. Okay, so there we go. Uh, so we've got a new plant. I don't know what it is. <clears throat> it's got some leaves on it. Cost 100. So umbrella leaf. So protects nearby plants from bungees and catapults. So that's very cool. Um. So I guess I could do if I could from the catapults. I because it's targeting targeting the uh, sunflowers. If I do sunflowers at the back, then the catapult. Uh, sorry, the umbrellas, and then in front of that I can do the um, sunflowers again. That might work. Let's give it a go. Let's give it a go. Uh, so want that that. Obviously I need the plant pot. Actually, hang on a sec. Do this. Do this. Do that. Do that. I'll leave the coffee bean. Don't want it. Hate it. <laughs> do that, do that, do that. Is that good? Well, so I'm only leaving out the coffee bean. That's it. So. Yeah, it should be fine. Let's go for it. Let's do that. So, if, I, if the umbrella is in between both sunflower flowers, it should protect both of them? I don't know. I ain't too sure. Let's give it a go anyway, I don't know. It's all about experimenting with different things. So at the moment it's still recording, which is good. <laughs> um, let's put that there.
So I guess it springs up and covers the uh, plants nearby. Oh, hang on a sec. Ah, uh, oh, I can eat that. I don't care. <laughs> All right. Move out the way, please. There we go. Sweet. Uh, do this. More sunflowers. More pots. Um. Okay. <clears throat> So that's the sunflowers taken care of. Just need to protect them with these umbrella leaves. Um, and I need to place down some more plant pots as well for the um, sweet corn and the um, cabbage cat pots. Okay, that's not going to work. Sweet. <sighs> um, go do that. So I hope this is a good way for protect protecting the um the sunflowers. So I might keep this method. <clears throat> okay. All uh, right. That's it for the uh, umbrellas. Catapults are done. The cabbage ones, and then I'm gonna place down these. And also for the the walnuts as well. I need to place down. There we go. Plant some. Uh, place some more plant pots. Doing well. <laughs> 